living your best heart healthy life all day long we're sharing stories of heart survival sharing the many ways heart disease has impacted our community and ways the american heart association's fighting to raise awareness and save lives for this next story way 31 decided to take an inward look and we didn't have to look very far to find a story of survival that almost didn't happen we know him as Mike Wright, Vice President and General Manager of Way 31 News. To them, he's dad. Played basketball with my son a lot, worked out, um, ate pretty much what I should. Living life as big and as full force as native Texans do. Life, however, hit pause about five years ago following a business trip. On the way back from walking and then halfway back to my car where it was parked in, in the terminal, um, I had to sit down and just catch my breath. And I'm thinking, well, maybe I'm just tired. Maybe, maybe that's it. At that point, he knew something wasn't right. He then recalled words from his dentist, of all people. And when I would go in for exams, they'd take your blood pressure, and they noticed a pattern that it was a little on the high side, then a little bit more on the high side. So it kind of just plugged that away. After talking with his wife, they decided not to wait and got right in to see a doctor. The results of his initial evaluation coming back during one of his daughter's volleyball games. So I stepped out to take the call. He said, things don't look good on this stress test. I need you to come see me tomorrow so we can make some plans and find out what else is going on. Like most of us would, he bargained with a doctor to put off the next step. I think most football fans will tell you, if you have a seat that someone has given you in Lambeau Field, to see the Green Bay Packers and the Dallas Cowboys play football. That's what my weekend plan was. Not to mention the twins' birthdays were the following week. And we were giving them new automobiles. So I tried to beg off for another week. The words that got to me were that if you wait any longer, we may not have anything to talk about. And, and hearing that language was something that was certainly an eye-opener for me that I, I had to get in to get this checked out. During his heart cath, the doctor discovered a 99% blockage in his LAD artery, the artery that's associated with the term Widowmaker. So it was kind of a miracle that something had not happened. Fast forward five years, and life for Mike is moving just as much, if not more, than before. But he never forgets just how close he was to losing it all. I probably wouldn't be sitting here today and I would have missed some of the most incredible moments of life had I not taken that first step and gotten in there. Taking time to share his story of survival. The message to people is I don't care how good you think you're feeling. If you've got any sign at all, get it checked out. You have nothing to lose and frankly everything to gain because I was looking at those 16 year old kids in the eye realizing, okay, between that and my family, my wife, that's the reason that I'm really glad I did it. The American Heart Association and heart teams across the country hold a very special place in Mike and his wife Bethany's hearts, as you can see, because they know just how fragile life can be.